Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about how much power has been draw will be drawn from um, um, the power adapter or your charging adapter uh, when you're charging your phone. Alright, this is the iPhone uh, 5S and then this is um, a Galaxy Note 5. And the adapter we're going to be using today is Samsung. Of course, I know, I know this is iPhone, but um, just for the sake of argument, using the same kind of adapter. And um, as you can see here, it says the output is 5 volts and the maximum of 2 amp. Okay, and in order to measure this, I'll be using this thing. Okay, this is actually. Um, uh, kind of like a meter where you check the voltage output from the USB port for example from a laptop or from things like this all right and uh, what it will show is the current and the voltage and there is two outputs here so we can have two devices and you measure on the average how much has been drawn or total how much has been drawn basically so let's try it out then okay Alright, okay, so without without connecting anything, um, I mean to, to the phones and to any other um, gadgets, um, just strictly out from Samsung adapter itself, uh, you have uh, 5.3 volt output and 0 amp. Um, well, you know, it's not exactly the 0, but uh, it's roughly around there. And what I'm going to do right now is that uh, I'm going to test on the iPhone first. So we have an iPhone cable here, and what I'm going to do is um, plug it in. And uh, there you go. So due to this internal uh, um, IC chip and where it controls the voltage, so it's draining out about uh, 5.18 volt and about 520 milliamp, uh, relatively stable. All right, this is with the screen off. If I turn on the screen, it's roughly the same. So screen on and off is really doesn't really matter unless you're playing very. Uh, graphics heavy intensive kind of games and yeah I guess um, they will not be charged fast enough all right so this is how much it drains um, from the adapter to charge your phone okay now let's try on the to using the Samsung Um, there will be two methods I'll be using to charge uh, Samsung Note 5 or essentially just any other Samsung phone. Uh, one method of course is to use cable. Oh, sucks. Did I plug it in? Okay, sorry. Okay, so for Samsung, it's charging at about 5.1 volt and about 1.2 amp. Uh, so it's almost twice the amount where Apple is about 520 milliamp or 0 0.52. This is almost twice the, uh, so more than twice, almost. Alright, so if I want to turn on the screen, it's about the same. So screen on and hour off for both the iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy. Um, I guess it's about the same. Yeah, about one point uh, for Samsung is one point one five. Um, for the iPhone is uh, five hundred twenty milliamp. So or rather zero point five two milliamp. 
Okay, next I'm gonna try using something else. And for those who are uh, interested in getting to know how much voltage generally uh, a USB output from a computer or laptop will give you, here it goes. 5 volt, 0 amp. If we're going to charge an iPhone here, let's see. Surprisingly, it seems to be higher, but the voltage is down we to about 4.9. Right, and let's try with something else. Let's try with the Galaxy Note 5. seems to be lower than the iPhone so you charge faster using the USB port of a computer or laptop um, when you're charging the iPhone is generally faster than having the uh, charging it onto the Galaxy even with the phone turn off all right all right thank you so we're gonna use this this is the fast charge uh, from Santo. All right, and I'm gonna plug it in here. So let's see how it goes. So you can see that it's about five point one, and it's taking up about um, seven hundred sixty milliamp or zero point seven five seven six amp to charge the Note five. All right. Um, again, as with all the tests we have done early on, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to switch off the screen and see that the charging went up. So the speed of which it's going to charge your phone is faster now. So it goes up to about 1.35 um, amp. The last I checked. Uh, when I was testing it for uh, yesterday or the day before it went up to almost uh, 1.8 um, so I guess it depends on how much charge is left in your phone and you do a fast charge okay so as you know that uh, Samsung S7 and the Note 5 they claim that uh, they have fast charge capabilities and able to charge your phone within you know 10 minutes so you have 50% or something like that yeah so this is the proof that um, it's able to do a faster charge. Again, if you don't believe me, press on the screen. The voltage should drop to uh, roughly about 720, 710 milliamp. But still more than the iPhone. But of course, the capacity of the battery here is um, much higher than the iPhone. Um, but again, to be honest, the iPhone battery lasts really, really long. Okay compared to most of the Samsung phones out there in the market. Alright, thank you very much for your viewership and uh, if you could, please subscribe. Thanks.